Okay, guys, we are back, and we have one more of the brand new animatronics to look at from Spirit Halloween for the 2023 Halloween season. Let's go on up to the animatronics here, over to the new arrivals. And this is the last one that they have available for us to check out right now before they release the other ones. And I cannot wait for them to release the other ones. I want to see them so bad. So the one we're going to look at today is the Three Foot Eternal Rest animatronic headstone. Let's click on it. And there it is. Now, I have not yet looked at this one. I haven't watched the video, but I do remember seeing him in the uh, in the trailer for Spirit Hollow Cemetery. And from what I remember, if I'm remembering correctly, you see one face on top of the headstone, and then it spins, and you see another face. So, at least that's how I remember it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. First, I want to read the description. So the description says, Everyone said their love was doomed. Her parents barred her from seeing him. Her brothers locked her in a room night after night, and her sisters tried everything, including hiding her away at the local nunnery. <laughs> but nothing kept her from his arms, not even death. When her love turned up dead, mysteriously murdered one cold October night, she vowed never to leave his side. Now she weeps for eternity, turned to stone by his hardening grip, his final revenge from beyond this world. The Eternal Rest animatronic is one tombstone you don't want to mess with in the graveyard this Halloween. Anyone who threatens her lover's grave is sure to meet her truly sinister side, Watch in fear as she turns her head 360 degrees to reveal a set of red LED light-up eyes and a truly horrifying skeletal face you won't soon forget. <laughs> 360 degrees. That's a 100% spin around. So I think they may have meant 180 degrees. Because 180 would give you one face here, and then it spins like this and gives you the other. A 360 degree spin would just be a complete spin around, and you'd still be seeing the same face. So I think that is a misprint, unless I'm thinking wrong. And I could be thinking wrong, but I think I'm thinking right. Okay, let's keep on looking. So, looking at the pictures here, we have the headstone. Um, at least in the first picture here, you see the skull, and the eyes are lit up. Um, it says, in memory of my eternal love, 1692 to 1737, until we meet again. In the next picture down here, there is the original face, the crying sad girl face. And then we have a head-on look, and it's the same cry. I, I like how they have, like, the tears. I like that, how it looks like tears coming out of her eyes. And then there's the one with the skull, and the eyes are lit up on the skull. There you can kind of see where it's like a double face. You got her face on the front here, and then his on the back. Or not his on the back, but it's a scary skeleton on the back. We have a close-up of the skeleton face. I'm not sure what I think of that, the way that looks. It looks kind of cheesy in that picture, but I guess we'll see. And then we have a close-up of her face. And again, I love how they have the tears coming down her face. That is a really cool touch. Um, the last picture just shows that it's three feet tall next to a six-foot tall man. Let's go on back up here and let's watch this video. As simple as this one is, I expect this one to be a good... I don't know if you call it a jump scare or not... Um, but it's probably going to spin around so fast that it does scare the crap out of you. At least that's what I'm expecting. So here we go, guys. Three foot eternal rest animatronic play. <laughs> okay, what the heck, man? Let's watch that again. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, it's cool looking. 
it's a good concept. Um, but I gotta say, if the head seriously only turns that fast, that is boring. I mean, I really, really expect that the head was just going to be like, boom, you know, and, and be something more that would like take you off guard and startle you. Um, like I said, it's cool looking. It's a good concept. I do like how it goes from her face to the skull face. Um, maybe I just expected more because it's, I shouldn't have said it was boring. It's, it is a pretty cool prop. But it's just nothing that excites me. You know, it's what I wanted out of it. And what I really expected it would be is, like I said, you know, where you'd hear her crying or whatever the sounds are. And then it would, like, unexpectedly very fast turn that head around and scream. And we just didn't get that, at least from the video that I'm seeing. Now, maybe when we see it in stores, it's going to be totally different. And I hope it is. A lot of times that's the case, you know, you watch these videos and then when you get in the store and you actually see these things as they really are, then at least myself, I appreciate them even more because they turn out to be better than what I expected from the video. So you guys tell me, what do you think of this prop? Does it do what you expected? Have you bought it already? And can you tell me in person, is it better than in the video? For myself, I'm probably just going to have to wait and see it in a store. But there is a quick look at the three foot eternal rest animatronic. And hopefully, guys, we will be getting down to some more of these very soon. I know there are at least three more that still need to be released for us to check out. So, yeah, hopefully soon. Until then, I will see you guys. Make sure that you come back on Saturday night for Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. Oh, and we have t-shirts available now. I built a new website, guys, where you can buy Saturday Night Snack and a Movie t-shirts. You can either go to that nateguystuff.com or thesecretkeepingcat.com, and both of those will take you to the website. Right now, it's just Saturday Night Snack and a movie t-shirts to get started, but very shortly, we will be having new Nate Guy t-shirts. We're going to have stickers. We're going to have all kinds of stuff on there. I, I, I am so excited about just making it totally awesome and providing stuff to you guys that will bring you right in and make it a more personal experience. If you buy a t-shirt, you get a signed card with it as well. And if you buy stickers, you get a signed card with that. <laughs>